Okay, this is Julie Carmen, and we're talking about how to create a patch from a digital image. I'm on the uh, digital Bodleian again. I'm scrolling down, and I chose this manuscript. Um, I double click on the image, and it pulls up the images they have digitized for this particular manuscript. And you see there's these little figures drawn in. I want to focus on those figures as a possible patch pattern. So I'm scrolling down. And the very last one, well, there's an interesting image. So I right-click on that image. I hit Save Image As. And then I go up to my desktop, for open it up, and it says, I want to go, no, not Downloads. I want to go to Desktop. Over here, saved images. And it has it as a ping image. And what I really want to go for is a JPEG or GIF. So I will name this image as just man. So I, something I could remember. Okay, it's a man. And then we will hit save. Okay. Get out of the website. Go to my desktop. There's my cat, Samson. I hope he's not too scary for you. Um, open up saved images on my desktop. And there's man right there. So I right-click on it again. Or I actually right-click and I say open with. And I open up with paint. If you're not familiar with the paint software, get to know that software. It comes with your PC automatic. A lot of the images on manuscripts I've seen are already saved in Paint. So that's a good one to use. So click Paint. So now it's in the Paint software. Now there could be other software out there that's better with images. Go ahead and use them. But this is just the one I actually cut my teeth on. So I go up here to, uh, I want to make sure the white is gone. So I'm going to have to uh, crop this the size I want. I want to make sure just the... The man's face is, is, is chosen. So I go over to select and I hit select and then I hit rectangular uh, selection. Then you see my, my little mouse turned to a cross. Now I know I'm ready to do a crop so I can just outline the image I want. See there? It's very small right now. But I oh, go back up to crop. And I hit crop. Okay, now I'm going to save it. Save as. And over here where it says ping, I'm going to change that drop down to a JPEG. And I'm going to save it. Sometimes it says, do you want, you want to save this one over the last one? And I say, okay. You might lose translation. That's okay. All right, so I will go out of this again. I will go down here, and there's my man picture. I double click on it. There it is. Oh, that's not the one I want, is it? Huh. Well, oh, there it is. This is the one I want. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to open up the Word document. <clears throat> open up Word. Hit insert up here in the top. You go insert. Go to pictures. And say this device. Now you want to go to the desktop. Because that's where you saved it. You want to go back to saved images. And you want to select the image that I... Not that image. Don't save that image. You want this one. So I don't know why it didn't erase or go over the other one. But this is the one I want. So when I'm in the Word document. I want to make sure I select the right image. So be careful. It could be tricky. So go back up, hit insert. Go over to pictures, this device. Then go to desktop and save the images and find there's that image that I want, just the man's face. Okay. And I'm going to go over here and see if I can go ahead and open it up, make it larger. Oh, that looks scary, doesn't it? If you can pull it down both sides. Oh, look at that. Make it a little bit bigger so you it'll fit your page size. You can make it as large or as small as you want. Okay. Then you can hit save as. 
this PC and then go over to desktop. Go over to saved images. There again, I want to make it man. And maybe I'll put And you might want to put the uh, number of the MS manuscript that you used. Two forty three, I think it was. Something that will help you find it. And it's in a Word document now. You can push it out and you can say no. I want it as a, well, it doesn't have JPEG, does it? Hmm. Sometimes you can see JPEG right there. Um, hmm. Keep it as a Word document, I guess. And it's right there. Okay, sometimes you can select a JPEG depending on um, which you, whichever, uh, area whether it's word or some other format you could open it up and it'll let you save it as a jpeg okay so we can go out go back in to check it you go back into your um your 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 folders go into desktop go into saved images and you can see man which is as There it is. Man MS243. There it is. That's where you print out the image onto your iron-on transfer paper to make your pattern. Um, also, remember that uh, when you want to make sure what size it is, you see the ruler right here? And it should be on the side, too. There it is, right there. This is the word uh, magic of word. You make sure that when you're on view up here... Uh, want to make sure ruler is marked... That's how you get the ruler to work. So I use, however I save the image, I insert it into Word, I use ruler, and I make sure they're the size I want. I hope this is helpful for you.